Hello, this is Rodrigo and this is Tableau in 90 seconds. So I'm going to go through a process of creating a two colors area chart. And I did that last week when the Economist released the Big Mac Index dataset for this year. So I have this uh, two color bar ch uh, area chart. So on the top, I have uh, the positive values in blue and at the bottom I have the negative values in red. So how does that work? How can I build that in Tableau? So first I'm going to open a new sheet and I'm going to drag country to my um, rows and then I'm going to add my year to my columns. Uh, I'll change this to the area uh, mark, but of course I need to add the value here so it doesn't look that weird. Uh, now I need to duplicate this peel, so control, select and then move. And then here we are, we have uh, two uh, area charts, one on the top and one on the bottom. So here I'm going to pick on the marks card on the, on the top and I'm going to color this as my blue uh, area chart and then I'm going to the bottom and I'm going to put as the red area chart. Uh, the area chart has always 60% uh, opacity so I'm going to change to 100 so it looks a little more strong and then uh, here's where the tweak starts. So first I'm going to show the header here so you can see we have two different so we have the top one and the back then in the bottom one. So I'm going to do on the top uh, area chart, I'm going to edit the axis and I'm going to go fixed and I'm going to put the start of this fixed at zero and then the end will be automatic. So here I have just a little part showing only the positive values. On the bottom chart, I want to show only the negative values. So I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to put here on the end, you'll be zero and these will be automatic when they start. So almost there. So the only problem I still have here is that I have different axes here. So I have um, one that goes to 200 and one to go to minus 100. So what I need to do here is to create two quick calculations. So I'm going to have the um, upper max, which will be the window max of the value that uh, I have in my area chart. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this to be my lower mean. So I'm going to have lower mean. But then I'm going to put a minus sign here so this, this will be the negative of the maximum value I have on the table. So now I'm going to move these two fields here to my main marks card. I'm going to the top one, I'm going to add a reference line and I'm going to pick that upper max and pick as the maximum of the entire table. I'm going to do the same here on the lower um, area chart. Again, I'm going to pick now the lower mean, that will be the minimum. And then as you can see, now I have the same axis here on both sides. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going just to edit both. I'm going to remove, I don't want these, I don't want a line and I don't want to recalculate. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this. Again, I don't want uh, the value, I don't want the line and I don't want to recalculate. And finally, I can just show the header and take can take the header off. I can format this label to be nicely centered and in the middle and finally formatting the rows grid lines. So now I can reshape here just to remove the size and bring it to be a little small so it's kind of a, um, yeah so this is how I want it to look okay. So that's a little bit longer, 90 seconds today, but I think it's worth it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.